Hi, my name is Abhijit Chakravarti from HDFC Bank. I'm the Senior Vice President for Core Infrastructure. I'm here today to speak to you regarding enabling hybrid workforce. The first and foremost thing is to take a stock of where are the endpoints lying, how are they connecting, what all are lying in that endpoints, what modes of connectivity are you enabling, how secure is that connectivity. Would you have visibility into all the assets, which is the endpoints and any other systems that is used to connect to the network? The security posture and the compliance check on both of them are absolutely critical because you never know what can get impacted otherwise. The IT support, which was very comfortably and as per design sitting in the office and operating today is dispersed. We worked at a cloud telephony solution and whereby both the employee and the IT support engineer could make use of the cloud telephony solution irrespective of wherever they are sitting. Now, how do you onboard new devices? Now with the workforce being deployed you know, and dispersed all across, what we did is that we started to work with the OEMs wherein the operating system and the applications were pre-coded into the endpoints before they were dispatched from the factory. In a time of uh, crisis, how do you enable remote, uh, I would say, access into the systems? We worked on solutions which, uh, you know, I would term it as an identity access management solutions, whereby we exactly knew who is the user who is logging in, what sort of access rights has he or she got, which sort of applications can he or she access, and what has he or she done into those with those access, which means a complete log right from the user logging in to the point the user logging out. During remote access, what also became a challenge is communication and collaboration platforms. It's important that you look at a unified communication platform. A unified communication platform is a platform which allows you to do audio, video, and your office work. In the sense, you can be on a call, you can see each other, you can do whiteboarding, and you can also work on a file at that same instance of time. In an organization that I come from, which is the BFSI segment, specifically the banking sector, the treasury and the forex departments are the most critical teams in the bank. By design, they are always designed to work from office, sort of a closed war room where they can't even carry their mobile phones inside the war room. This is because of the security definition from the regulators. Now, how to get them working? We worked on a solution whereby we extended the office LAN securely over internet to the users of the treasury and forex team right up to their home, which means that they used a endpoint which is provided by the bank, connectivity, whatever they could have gathered from anywhere. But now it meant that the endpoint was connecting to this treasury and to the forex systems as if they were sitting on the office LAN. You could not violate or overshoot any security posture or norm that has been defined. What became very, very important during this arena is how do you provide incident management remotely? We went a step further to enable the subject matter experts or the L3s as they are called in different organizations to be capable of securely logging into any asset within the infrastructure using their mobile phones. When you work remotely, you've got to work differently within different norms. But when you come to the office, you do the same work, but a bit differently, right? Now that is where this is called hybrid. So, there actually is no boundary now between whether you are in office or whether you are in remote. And hence the, I would say the terminology today used is the hybrid workforce or the hybrid enablement of the workforce.